Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Arch Destination. Welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding the Baltimore Orioles. And as you guys can tell, our team is looking fantastic. So in the last episode, we made a ton of upgrades. And I mean, we've seriously rebuilt this entire team and we're now ready for a postseason push. The only thing that I would probably like to, uh, you know, upgrade would probably be the starting rotation. It's not all that great. I'd like to get an ace in there. But other than that, it's like, it's not bad, honestly. Like we got Dylan Bundy, Tyler Anderson, of course, Bud Ramirez, who actually did not do all that great last year, but didn't do that bad. We got, of course, Alex Wood, and that's pretty much about it. Henry Manuel, who has just never done good, actually. I didn't realize Henry Manuel was that bad. Like, I thought he was going to be decent, but God dang, bro. Out of 230 innings, a 5.3 ERA. God, all right. What's his whip? Hold on. What's his whip? 1.55. God dang. Okay. So for this series, I would like to get one more like ace type of guy in the starting rotation. And I was thinking like, what if we get Carlos Carrasco for one more year? Like that'd be decent. But then again, he's 35. He's not really, you know, it's kind of at the end of his career. I need like a guy that's an ace. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save the however much money I'm giving uh, Miles. I think I'm giving him, yeah, 5 million. I'm going to withdraw that contract. And I'm going to wait until there's an ace at like the trade deadline and see if I can get somebody like that. So... Here we go. Let's uh, let's actually advance into the regular season. If you guys are enjoying Rebuild so far, then be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already. And that really does help me out. So real quick before this whole video starts, I want to talk about the goals for 2019. And I wanted to do it in front of the Rebuilding Franchise audience because I have like, I got something I got to tell you guys. In 2018, I kind of took a big step back from Rebuilding Franchises and I kind of regret it, honestly. I don't regret the other content I made. I really enjoyed the other content I was making. But I really, I miss this. I, I honestly did miss it. Now, I mean, there's some obvious things on why I didn't do a lot of rebuilding franchises, and that is pretty much the franchise this year, in my opinion, was not all that great. Like, a lot of the mechanics into franchise mode was not the greatest, in my opinion. Like, for franchise, there's a lot of stuff that I think needs to be changed. Like, there needs to be a different trading system. It just, honestly, it needs to be more realistic. Like, let's be real. It's got to be more realistic. Like, one of the biggest things that really I did not like in LB18 franchise was the fact that you can't tell how much money you have. Like, in what franchise does that even make sense? Like, let's say I want to sign you on a Cespedes, right? I want to get another bat in the lineup. I've used a lot of money so far in the offseason, but... Like, how do I know how much money I've spent? I know I have a team budget of $128 million, but how much available money do I have in actually buying free agents? Like, there's no, like, there's no information on that kind of stuff. You go over the team budget stuff, and it makes no sense. Like, that's that's one thing I did not like whatsoever. About only 18 franchise, there was a lot of other stuff, like trades and all that kind of stuff I already went through, but... But yeah, I wanted to get back into it. In LB19, we're going to be doing a lot more franchises, though. A lot more rebuilds. Probably going to be, like, live streaming a couple of them, which I really wanted to do. I've been wanting to do that for... Since I started this in LB16, I really wanted to actually, like, go through live a rebuild and actually, like, do it with you guys. That'd be sick, but... But yeah, that's kind of what's been on my mind. I'm sorry that, you know, it was a little long. Like I said, there are still going to be a bunch of Diamond Dynasty videos. There are going to be other type of videos, other series on the channel. But I, did, I do want to come back to this. I really do want to... Keep doing rebuilding franchises, and they're here to stay for a long, long time. I promise you that. So here we go. Let's get all that crap out of here. We got to make a postseason run with the Orioles. Let's get it. Okay, Phillies, what's good? So I was just simulating going to the draft day, and the Phillies actually ended up giving us a pretty good deal, if I'm being honest. So Adam Hasley for John and Raleigh. I mean, this is kind of like a no-brainer. Adam's very good. He's young. He's, like, perfect for our core. 72,000, not to mention. And this dude's 1.8. Million. M million. No dumb I'm going to take that off. Are you kidding me? Like, let's just run through the facts of that deal real quick. Not to mention, save money, got a better player with more potential. So that's three things already. And the guy's going to be a home run beast. His power numbers are going to grow. Like, it's simple. Like, why not? You know? Why not take that deal? All right, but anyway, we are here in the uh, in the first year player draft. We got to get probably another, another batch of, like, you know, pitchers, probably. I'm thinking pitchers. Maybe, like, well, I mean, we got Michael Irvin as well coming up at third base. I'm going to go with a pitcher. Yeah, why not? But let's get someone that can be ready within the next couple years. And so far, we got about three guys that I'm looking at. And to be honest, I think Leo's probably the best one. Like, this man's got perfect velocity, control, won't walk that many people, won't be like a crazy strikeout guy, but will not give up any hits, will not give up any home runs. I like this guy a lot, actually. Leo, welcome to the squad. And I don't know, whenever I, like, record these videos, I always have a scratch right in the middle between, like, my cheek and my nose. Like, that little, that little part right there. I have no idea why. I think it's, like, some sort of weird tick or something. I don't know. Normally, I don't have ticks. Like, I've never had a tick, but... 
every single time I record a video. This part of the skin right here always needs an itch. I got no idea why. I don't know why I decided to share that with you guys yet. I don't know. Why not? Just keep... You know what? Everyone in the RGS Nation's a family. Why not? Let's just... Let's just share things, bro. That's a little weird and cultish, but still. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, to be honest. I was kind of bored with the first year player draft and just had to fill some stuff in. But here we go. Let's take a look at it. How many good guys did we get? Okay, Leo's not that great, but still not bad. Like, the thing is with these players, like, they're not going to be crazy good, but I'm still going to probably use them. Like, I'm still going to use them at some point. Like, Martin, he's a 75 overall. I'm going to use him. Like, I'm going to use him at some point. Not to mention, we did get, like, some late bloomer, like a late, really good closer, so I'll take him, too. But, yeah, let's take a look and see how everybody on the team is doing. We got Jonathan Villar doing all right. Tyler Naquin doing fantastic. That's my boy. Mitch Hanniger doing good. Gary Sanchez has not played nearly as many games. He must have been injured or something. Bobby Bradley not doing crazy good, but not bad. Trey Mancini not that bad, but still not very good. Anthony Santander, some reason only has 29 at-bats. I don't know what's going on there. Jorge Polanco not doing all that great. And then uh, Renato also needs uh, needs a bit of work. We might get rid of Renato. I don't know. Well, actually, let me see. Let me see something. How good is my boy Michael Irvin doing? He's actually killing it right now. He's kind of killing it. Okay. What I'm thinking is, let's make a little bit of room. I'm thinking we trade Renato at this upcoming trade deadline. Let's also probably get rid of... Let's try and get rid of Andrew also. Let's try and get rid of him. He's not really very good. And then at the trade deadline, we would also need to acquire another ace to the ball club. And I'll probably get rid of Alex Wood because Alex Wood is completely messing up our entire season. So, uh, so yeah, we'll do that. That's our game plan. Probably acquire another bat, get Michael Irvin up in the MLB, and then, of course, get rid of Alex Wood because god dang, bro. And not to mention also acquire an ace. I forgot that part, but still. Yeah, that's our game plan. And if I'm being honest, it's not a bad one. Yo, my boy Harvey Drake got a beard, bro. Oh my God. Look at that thing. That thing's a beast. That thing's got a mind of its own. What a man, honestly. What a, what a man. What a man that guy is. Also, real quick, I feel like we got a pretty good team. Don't know necessarily why we are almost 30 games below 500. Does that make sense? To me, it doesn't. That we're 30 games below 500, almost. Still, almost 30 games below 500. But we have such a good team. Like, how does that... Okay, I don't know. Honestly, I got no idea how that even makes remote sense, but apparently it does. It somehow makes sense to only be the show 18's franchise. I got... I don't know, dude. I built a pretty decent team, in my opinion. A lot of you guys think so, too. And uh, we're, we're not performing whatsoever. We're just not performing. Even though Renato has kind of turned it around, I'm still going to get rid of him based on the fact that, like, I want to get Michael Irvin up there. I really want to get him up there. So, like I said, trade away Alex Wood and uh, and get Michael Irvin up in the MLB. Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe add a bat, like I said. I don't know. Probably a good DH bat, like a good power hitter. But uh, we'll see. Actually, what are our numbers like contact-wise and stuff? How's that looking? Okay, we're fourth in power. We really just need... Well, we need a good defender. Yo, okay. Yeah, we really need a good defender. Like a good contact and defender guy? I think I got just the guy. I think I got just the guy. Let's hope that we can get him. Okay, here's where we pull some magic, boys. You guys ready? Here we go. Okay, first order of business. Renato, I love you, bro, but see you later. All right, for the ace of the team, we're getting Marcus Stroman. Now, the reason why I wanted to get Marcus Stroman was because he's been killing it recently down in Miami. Like, a lot of the other guys that I was looking at are either way too expensive now for some reason, or, you know, I just really wanted to get Marcus Stroman just because I feel like he's got that ace swagger, you know? Like, right now, he has been decent with the... Toronto Blue Jays like in real life, but uh, but I feel like Marcus Stroman would be a very good option for us, so let's go ahead and get him. We're going to be sending Renato. Uh, we might actually keep probably Mount Castle. Yeah, let's keep Mount Castle, but we're also getting rid of some salary, which is the biggest thing, so here we go. There we go. Now we got Marcus Stroman, and we probably need a lefty now. I mean, we got, eh, I don't know. We got Tyler Anderson. Let's keep looking, though. Let's look real quick, and then we'll make our decision from there. I would just kind of feel bad if, I just kind of want to make sure that all bases are covered, you know? Like a good, oh, if we can get Shane. Yo, if we can get Shane, that'd be huge. Yo, I think we got to do it, honestly. I think we got to do it. Shane is fantastic. I feel like Shane's going to be good, honestly. I really do. Not so much we got a lot of depth in the outfield. I feel like this is a good deal. Let's go for it. And just like that, the pitching rotation is looking a lot better, bro. And the bullpen's also doing horrible. Oh my god, okay. We need to get a bullpen guy now. Because for some reason, our good bullpen is trash right now. I don't know why. To be honest, I got no idea what the heck happened. Because I feel like we had a decent bullpen, but it's not good right now. So we got to do something. Ooh, look at this. A salary dump. Let's go. Okay. We're going to be getting a 22-year-old... Relief pitcher is actually an 83 overall who's doing fantastic this year. Let's go ahead and do that. We're also going to be dropping off a lot of salary. And not to mention, we might actually give Dave Story a shot 
at the at the MLB once again. So that's actually pretty good there. We also got another trade for you guys. We're going to be trading uh, Andrew for another backup catcher who's actually very, very good. And we're also going to be getting Tyler Duffy as well out of the deal. So uh, I feel like this is decent too. Let's go ahead and go with it. And then the last thing, the last possible thing that I want to do in order to make this team fantastic. I know it's going to suck for a lot of like Orioles fans because he's really the only one left. But Trey Mancini, I think I feel like he's got to go. We got to get a very, very good power guy in there. Like, Trey Mancini is very powerful, but we need a very good power guy. Like, a guy that can seriously hit some ding-dongs. Now, right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the home run totals for everybody and try and make, like, a good decision on who I want to get for this. We got, uh, we got Matt Davidson, who would also be a very good power guy. Oh, wait, hold on. Yo, okay, I feel... Okay, that was dumb. That was dumb. I don't need a power guy. I need a contact guy. That's what I've been looking for. Okay. I don't know what that guy was thinking. Yo, could we mix the two worlds? What about Tyler White? Oh, but he's got an A potential. He's going to be, he's going to for sure be a lot. Oh, he's got a B actually. Yo, hello. Hold on. I swear to God. I swear. Don't. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Trey. I loved you, bro, but sometimes we got to move on, bro. Jesus. Tyler White, welcome to the squad, my boy. Mixing the two worlds just like that, we're down to 14th. Let's go. Like, I mean, the defense is still not good. We probably need to get one good defender, but I mean, yo, not bad. Not bad at all. Is there like a fielding thing in here? I've been through this so many times. There's not. Okay. Um, Stats. How about that? Let's look at the player stats. Let's take a look at Gold Glove. These are the guys that are the best at their fielding. So uh, let's take a look. And also, who are some open positions that we need? DH. Yeah, actually, to be honest, we don't need anybody. No, we don't need anybody. We're good. We're good. We got DJ coming up, and we also got Michael Irvin coming up, baby. Let's go. Got the man, the myth, the legend. Like, what a baseball name, too. Like, Michael Irvin going after one of the greatest wide receivers ever. Let's go. For sure gonna be a beast. Also, one thing I completely forgot from a couple episodes ago was my boy Cletus. Where's he at? How's he doing? Did we get rid of him? I really hope we didn't. Yo, I think we did. What happened to Cletus? Where's Cletus at? Oh, no. No, not Cletus. Cletus. Cletus, no. Cletus, where are you at, bro? Cletus. And what trade did we do to get rid of Cletus? I forget. Okay, whatever. Cletus is gone. Who cares? But for some reason, I just remembered Cletus for like some odd reason. I just remember the name Cletus and I had to I had to check. All right, well, here we go. After the trade deadline, this is the team that we are going to be rocking with. We got Jonathan Villar, Tyler Naquin, Mitch Hanniger, Gary Sanchez, Bobby Bradley, Tyler White as the DH, which is going to be perfect. Joe Adele, Jorge Polanco, and then Michael Irvin with Michael Perez and DJ Stewart on the bench. And then in the rotation, we got Dylan Bundy, Tyler Anderson, Marcus Stroman, Shane McClanahan. I feel like I should know that because he's actually a race prospect. And of course, Butter Maris to round it all out. All right, here we go. Let's go. We got this. Come on. Let's turn this whole thing around. I'm done with being over 20 games below 500. Come on. Win some games for me, boys. Let's go. Get red hot. Do something. Like, god dang, start performing. But honestly, if it's not this year that we don't get into the postseason, it's definitely going to be next year. Like, for real. We we have a very solid team, and we definitely turned it around in the second half of the season. I just don't think we're going to make it into the postseason. Yeah, we didn't. So, uh... As long as we can keep this core, as long as we can keep a lot of these guys, we're going to do very well. Oh my God, Mitch Hanniger. 44 bombs. Yeah, we're going to do very well next season. 37 from Tyler White and a 323. This guy's the triple crown for sure. Michael Irving, 52 games, 5 home runs, and 20 RBIs with a 275. Let's go, baby. The pitching rotation looking fire. The bullpen needs a bit of help, but I feel like next year they're going to do well. Let's go. Everything's working. Everything's starting to align itself. And if I'm being honest, we really don't need anybody else. Okay, we kind of got an issue. We got a big issue. So a lot of the guys that I, you know, have, um, yeah, we kind of need them to sign back. And Mitch Hanniger and both Tyler Naquin are, you know, pretty big ticket items that I want to get back. Like, these guys are fantastic in the outfield, so I want them back desperately. The thing is, I don't know how much money we have. This all goes back to how I need to know how much money we have in be the Show 18 franchises, but that's just not an option, which sucks for the time being, but... Hopefully next year they're going to get something going, but god dang. I need to know this type of stuff. So there's a possibility, a slight possibility, that we might lose both these guys. I certainly hope not. I've done everything possible to keep them around. I've made qualifying offers on them. I've actually given them the money that they want. So, uh... So we'll have to see what they decide to do. But here we go. We got to we gotta keep a couple guys from uh, from arbitration. Let's keep Bobby Bradley. Preston Tucker, I don't necessarily remember trading for him. So I don't know how the heck we got him. And Michael Perez, I'm going to keep him. 
Might as well just keep all these guys. I got no idea how we got Preston Tucker, though. Doesn't make sense. Also, it's gotten a little dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on a light real quick. All right, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Everyone pray for me. Let's go. Yep, kind of figured that. All right, well, the good thing is we got a lot of depth in the outfield. I, I kind of didn't want them to, you know, be gone, so... That's the biggest issue. Hopefully they both come back on qualifying offers. I don't think they will. I mean, all I can do right now is just hope that they do. Because I had such big plans. Like, legit such big plans. So don't you dare. Oh my god. Okay, so Tyler Naquin declined it. Oh my god. Okay. Now we gotta look for other guys. Now we gotta look for some budget dudes. Domingo Santana would not be too bad. We'll get him. And I'm pretty sure for left field... Well, I don't know. Corey Dickerson, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Probably Justin Upton, if I had to guess. Probably Justin for one year. All right, so we got Domingo, and we also ended up getting Justin Upton. All right, I guess we don't need the uh, the other guys. All right, let's just keep going. Why not? Also, one thing that I feel would probably be necessary is us going to get uh, probably Vidal. The thing is, I don't want him to take up a you know spot in the 40-man roster, so I'm not going to get him here. But we definitely need to get him just because Jonathan Villar is in his last season coming up, so... We definitely got to do something because he's going to want something outrageous and I don't want to worry about that. So we'll get it back up for uh, for Jonathan Villar sometime soon. Don't necessarily know when, but we will. And most likely it is going to be Vidal. So that's good. So after a couple of hiccups in the road, this is the 2023 Baltimore Orioles. And it's not looking too bad, honestly. I feel like we did pretty good. Like, honestly, it's not looking too bad. We got Jonathan Villar, Domingo Santana, Tyler White, Gary Sanchez, Bobby Bradley, Joe Adele, Ryan Mountcastle actually playing third base. Surprised at that. I would. I was kind of hoping that Michael Irvin would take that spot, but still. DJ Stewart, and then of course Jorge Polanco, along with Michael Perez, Anthony Santander, Michael Irvin, of course, and then Justin Upton on the bench. And uh, we're still looking pretty good. Honestly, we're looking very good this season. So let's hope we perform. Let's go ahead and get into this. Here we go. All right, so coming into the first year player draft, we are 28 and 28. We're 500, which, uh, which is not bad. Honestly, if we can stay like 500 until like possibly... Midway through the season, probably around the trade deadline, and then explode. That'd be perfect. But uh, but I really hope that we start exploding at some point because we're going to need it. All right, so Jonathan Villar's not doing too good, and he's in the last year of his contract. We got to get rid of him. Villar, you've been very good for me, bro, but we got to get rid of you, my dude. And what I'm thinking is we got to get a very good defensive, like, second baseman. Jonathan Villar's very good in defense, but he's definitely not the greatest. So I want to make sure that we get somebody who is very good defensively. Yo, honestly, Franklin would not be too bad. I like Franklin. How much would we have to get? Okay, DJ Stewart. Don't really want to get rid of him. I mean, honestly, Justin Upton didn't do all that much. I was kind of expecting him to play like... I was kind of expecting him to be our number one left fielder, but I guess not DJ, so... DJ's actually killing it right now, so we might as well just get rid of Justin Upton, free that contract, you know? So yeah, I feel like that'd be pretty good. Let's go with that. Franklin... And then we'll also, do we get Vidal? Do we go ahead and get Vidal? I really don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're all right. I think we're going to be fine. We're Franklin? Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, What else do we need? All right, so we're going into the second half of the season, and we need to explode right now. Let's do it. What, what's going on? Waiver stuff? Yo, it's John again, bro. I could bring back John, but nah, we're good. We're good. Both those guys have left the organization. They're they're gone. You snail. What the heck is that? Yeah, sure. You can be the you can be our right fielder, bro. I'm sorry. God, how good did he do in how good did he do in AAA? Look at that. Plus two, plus six, plus seven, plus six. Like, oh my god. Yeah, dude. You can you can take over, bro. It's fine. God, you didn't have to do that. Alright, well, once again, 80 and 82. Not not what I wanted whatsoever. But we did decent. Like, that's the thing. We did good. Bobby Bradley hit 30. Joe Adele did fantastic, in my opinion. DJ Stewart did good. Jorge Polanco did decent. Franco Barreto was probably one of the greatest things that we could have gotten this season. Michael Perez, for some reason, Gary Sanchez is always hurt. We got to change that. Tyler White did good. Dan Vogelbach was just recent. And then Ryan Mountcastle did good. So it must have been pitching. Yo, Shane, what is... Yo, I'm so glad we got Shane. Yeah, it was probably pitching. Most likely pitching. Oh my God. Yeah, what is going on with the bullpen? We just need one good bullpen year, honestly. If we get one good bullpen year, we'll be fine. But god dang, I thought we had a good bullpen, but nah. Like, what more do we need to do? All right, well, we lost one of our best bullpen guys, Wade Davis. He's gone, so we got to get somebody new in the bullpen. Let's try and go for AJ Minter, and let's also try and go for... Yo, Josh Hatter be perfect. Come on, please let me get Josh Hatter. 
Please let me have the funds to get Josh Hatter. Please, just please. And now, wait, hold on. Now you Snell's down to an 82. What was going on with that? Oh, he started to get unhappy. Okay, that's what it was. He started to get unhappy, but like, how was he up to an 87? This game sometimes, bros. I swear, this game. This game can be something else sometimes. Like, it can straight OD and put one of the guys that we're not really going to be eyeing that much to be a star to an 87 overall. Like that. It makes no sense. Oh, we don't got enough money. God dang it, bro. I wanted those guys so much. Yo, Shohei, what's going on, bro? Shohei's going off. If he signs with the Yankees, I'm about to be pissed. He's going to, isn't he? He's going to, isn't he? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Okay, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Shohei, where'd you go? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. We're good. Where did he go? Is he back on the... He might be back on the Angels. Oh, we went to the A's. Dang, what a stab to the Angels' heart, though. Going straight to Oakland, dude. After you're like the Angels' golden boy, just going straight to Oakland. Oh, what a what a ballsy move right there. What a ballsy move from that guy. All right, let's get back into another season. Let's try and do better than we ever have before. I feel like we can. I feel like this team is a 90-win team. I don't know why it's so hard for them to win 90 stupid games. I feel like we're a good team. I'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory, to be honest. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Let's take a look and see where the MLB stacks us. We're seventh. If that's not a jump, I got no idea what is. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I feel it this year. Come on. Don't you dare mess with me up here. Don't do it, Orioles. Come on. We built up such a good team. Don't let me down here. We got another... Is that another waiver thing? What's going on? Yeah, we've been getting a lot of waiver stuff. That's weird. Guys, I, I see you slipping. Don't slip. Don't do it. I see him slipping. I see him. Don't slip. Stop slipping. Also, Gary Sanchez is in the last year of his contract. And so is Marcus Stroman. So, uh, so yeah, guys, we got to do something here. This is like the make it or break it type year. Like every so often in a team's history, there's going to be like a point where you're like, yeah, we should probably tear down. Yo, Chasen's been horrible. Okay, Chasen, get out of here. To the people not performing, we can't keep you around, honestly. If for some reason these guys don't want to perform, I can't keep them. Like legit... The budget won't let me keep them. So I guess we're going to have to kind of be like cutthroat. If they don't do good, they're out. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to be getting Jonathan Holder and Sir Anthony Dominguez. Let's get it. Now our bullpen's looking beefy. Now it's looking real beefy. Let's go. Now you better win some games, boys. I swear to God. Honestly, screw it. Let's do it. I know this is a bit weird, but honestly, screw it. We got to do it. Like, we got a very decent amount of guys, but we just need, like, more people. I don't know why. We just we just need more people. Because frankly, I don't know what the heck is going on. We have a super, super good team. I swear to God, if we finish below 500 this year, I don't know what the heck to do. We finish at 500. What's the issue? Seriously, somebody. What is the issue? We finished off good. Like, we finished off solid. But why the heck can we not win some games? I don't know, dude. I, I honestly don't know. All right, we'll go one more season. Of this episode, at least. And then uh, after that, I don't know. You guys will have to pick, honestly, if you guys want me to. Because I feel like we've successfully rebuilt this team. I feel like we have. Like, legit. I feel like we have. But I guess I'm going to leave it all up to you guys. If you guys want me to continue with this rebuild, then all you got to do is comment down below. Continue. If you guys want me to move on, then comment down below the team that you guys want me to rebuild next. But honestly, this happens every time. And it's kind of annoying now. We rebuild the team to the point of them being very, very good. Like, there's no reason we should not be able to win with this team. But they never do good. It's like I got some weird curse on me. So far, we're eighth now. So, uh, so let's see what happens here. Again, I feel like we got a very, very good team to make an actual run. So I feel like that should be our expectation. And so far, it's not looking like that. But like I said, it's all going to be up to you guys. If you guys want me to finish this rebuild, actually all the way out, win in the World Series, which I honestly don't know how long that's going to be, honestly. I feel like we uh, we definitely have a very solid team. We've definitely rebuilt the Orioles to a team of like a stable state because just how bad they were. But like, I don't know what else to do, to be honest. For three straight seasons, we've been stuck in one spot. So either I tear down completely again, if you guys want to actually see that. It's either I like tear down again, get more prospects and actually go for it, like try to go for it again, or I just go to a different team. So it's all up to you guys. Like if you guys want me to pick a new team, then definitely tell me that. Then definitely tell me what team you guys want me to rebuild next down below in the comments. So uh, definitely help me out a little bit, but here we go. 
We're doing pretty good. We're 55 and 36. All right, so it looks like Michael Irving actually took over the spot at shortstop. And uh, I feel like we got to we gotta free up some space somewhere. And Jorge Polanco's down in trip. Yeah, okay, we're freeing up him. Get out of here, Polanco. Like, bro, you did good, but God. Why are you down in the trip? Okay, whatever. Get get out of here. Just get out of here. We needed that space freed up, to be honest. So, uh, so yeah. We did good there. We did very good there. Okay. This is kind of... Actually, to be honest, if we don't do good this season, this literally is like a rebuild type season to where if we don't do good when we're rebuilding, we're going to we're gonna actually have to rebuild. We're not going to be able to sign back Tyler Anderson. Gary Sanchez is gone. We're going to keep Joe Adele. Marcus Stroman's gone. A lot of the guys that we have are going to be gone. So, uh, so yeah. But honestly, finally, we're playing like the team that I know we always were. Like, we're finally 20 games above 500. You know how hard that was? You know how hard that was to actually do? So let's just keep going. Let's hope for the best here. And uh, just move on past into the trade deadline. Just forget about the trade deadline. Let's keep winning some games. Let's get into this postseason and win the World Series. Let's do it, baby. I know we can. Leave a like if you guys think so. I know we can. I seriously know we can. Get above 90. Get above 96. God dang it. Okay, well, we made it to the postseason. Finally, guys, as a wild card team, we're facing the Rays. Okay. All right, let's say let's take a look and see how everyone did. Michael Irvin did very good. Joe Adele did very actually super good. Joe Adele did. Bobby Bradley, fantastic, just like I've always wanted to do. Gary Sanchez, amazing. Drew Robinson, 110 RBIs. This guy literally has become a beast since coming to the Orioles. Fantastic. Anthony Santander finally came out as being like one of the top, top guys in our organization. Ryan Mountcastle actually took over at shortstop, doing pretty good. DJ Stewart actually did very well this season as well. And Franklin did fantastic. Let's look over the pitching rotation, did finally decent. Everyone in the bullpen's not half bad, so that's good. And, uh, and here we go. We got to play this game. We have to. All right. Cutthroat time, baby. Let's go. Beat these guys to the ground. I know we can. Explode. Just explode, guys. Come on. I know we can do it. I know we can explode. We got the power to do it. They already scored one. All right. We got to be mindful. There we go, Mount Castle. That's what I'm talking about. But come on. It's a single. That's a walk. Base is loaded. Oh, God. Oh, that was one of those where you got to just roll the dice. Okay. Keep going. There we go. Another run scored. 4-1. Okay. Again, that's another close call, bro. Shane's got to relax. He's giving me these mini heart attacks, dude. Okay. Yeah. We're taking him out now. He definitely needs to get taken out now. Okay, they came back with two runs, but let's just keep going. Keep hammering it home. Perfect. Seventh inning. Top of the eighth now. Perfect. I, I would like some insurance runs, but keep going. Okay, all right. Dave, just get the one out. Paul, go. Get the one out, please. Paul, stop it. Thank God, bro. We're finally in the divisional series. Oh, my God. We're facing the Blue Jays now. The Rays are gone. Let's just keep going. Come on. Game one. That's a W. Game two. That's an L. God dang it. Come on, Tyler. That's another L. Shane versus Taylor. We got to quick manage it. Come on. Let's go. Quick manage. Let's get in there. Come on, Shane. The ace of this ball club. Let's go. Wow. Already 3 nothing. God. Score some runs, guys. Come on. There we go. There we go. Joe Adele. Coming back. Gary Sanchez. Let's go. Explode. All right. It's time to pull Shane. It's definitely time to pull Shane. Come on, Dave. Dave. Dave, I hate Dave so much. Dave, why? Come on. There we go, DJ. Tyler Austin. Why? Why, why, why? All right, Santana. Or Santander. We got to bring in... Yeah, let's bring in you, Snell. There we go. Ah, god dang, that's a fly out. Mountcastle, no. DJ. Got to bring in who? who's doing good. Tyler White, maybe? Come on. Lost in the divisional series, dude. Well, we made it to the postseason. We made it far. We made it to the divisional series. That's not really that far. Now it looks like we're going to have to completely rebuild again. So, honestly, it's up to you guys. If you guys want me to completely tear this whole thing down and rebuild once again, then comment that down below. If you guys want me to move on to another team, if you guys feel like I successfully rebuilt your team or the team just in general, then, uh, then just tell me what other team you guys want me to rebuild. Then uh, I'll do, I'll go ahead and pick one of those teams. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. All those links are down in the description. Subscribe. Hit that bell so you guys will be notified every single time I upload. And anyway, I'll see you guys later. 
Peace out. Remember, comment that down below. Seriously, comment it right now. All right, anyway, see you guys later.